According to some people in the MBTI community, the goal of the MBTI is to help you find out your personality type. But I would rather argue that the goal of the MBTI is to help you find out who you are. And there's a reason why I make that distinction. My name is Eric Dorr and I spent more than a decade studying Carl Jung, the cognitive functions and personality type theories. And one thing that I realized is that personality is a spectrum and every single person is their own unique person. And that's why many use the term best fit personality type instead of perfect fit MTI type. A lot of people get stuck in a loop where they're constantly searching for what personality type they are. And I recently, I launched an online course called Self-Discovery One-on-One to help people just like that. So if you feel like you're constantly stuck wondering if I'm this type or that type, and you know, I feel like an ENFP, but sometimes I meet ENFPs that are way more extroverted than me, and I don't feel like I'm that outgoing, right? A lot of these questions can be answered to these simple self-journaling exercises, right? I use and offer a lot of exercises and interactive methods you can use to determine your own personality and to learn more about yourself. And the truth is, half of you has been written, but half of you has not. And that means that you're constantly learning new things about yourself. There's potentially countless hobbies out there that you'd love to do, but never tried. There's probably a lot of values and opinions and beliefs that you'd be more open to if you learned more about them and how they work. And so, We can't define ourselves simply by who we are today. We're constantly growing and changing. And so it's good to track your personality and reflect on how you feel, what you value, what you want, what gives you energy and what motivates you. But it's not good to stress or fuss too much about whether you fit more into this box or that box. And ultimately, if you spend too much time trying to fit inside an MBTI stereotype, you'll probably find that you gradually become less and less happy. Psychologist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi has this legendary theory about flow, and he argues that we find flow when we allow ourselves to do something, to master a task, to become really good at something, to gain a skill, and to work on that skill, and to keep working on that skill over and over until we get better and better. And he wants us, he urges us to gradually increase our level of challenge. The better we get at something, the more we should challenge ourselves. And if we challenge ourselves more, we'll also find that we'll experience greater highs and greater modes of flow. And so the more you practice at any personality trait or any activity, the better you'll get at it and the more you'll enjoy it. And so if you would make slow incremental changes in your life, working step by step, you'd probably experience a slow change in your personality. Because ultimately, personality is not fixed, but still, most people tend to fall into certain patterns. The 16 personalities that we know and love and study today are, at best, archetypes that can inspire us and help us navigate this huge, vast canvas of different personality traits and different cognitive functions and different ways of being. And by learning from each and every 16 personalities type, you can learn to improve your life gradually and consistently too. What I love to do is I love to study all the types and I love to think about how I can incorporate their tricks and their hacks into my own life. And that's why, personally, I don't really tend to say that I have a specific personality type. I'm less interested in defining myself and more interested in thinking about what I'm working to be, what kind of a person I want to be, and where I'm headed in the future. And so these descriptive theories, while fascinating, while interesting, while definitely worth all their study and all their thinking process, They can only do so much to help you get to know yourself. And so what I recommend is spend time getting to know and learn about personality, psychology, learn about introversion and extroversion, and reflect on in which ways that you manifest these traits in your own life. Then think about how you'd like to be, what you'd like to improve and what you'd like to do different. And try to set daily habits and challenges for yourself to keep improving in that direction. Self-discovery one-on-one is to gradually and constantly keep improving and learning more things about yourself by living a full and rich life, by going out, by having a job, by gaining and having important relationships with other people, by journaling and by writing down and reflecting on your thoughts and your experiences. You'll gradually find that you know more and more about yourself and you might truly to say never know what personality type you are or which type best fits you. You might always doubt which of these letters to use, but it might not matter if you find that ultimately you really do know who you are. 
And isn't that the most important? So if you'd like to try out self-discovery one-on-one, I have a link to the course down below and all you have to do is become a member of Type School and after that, click your way to the online courses and get self-discovery one-on-one today. Thank you so much for everyone that supports my videos. Thank you to my patrons and uh, thank you to everyone that has helped me learn a lot about personality psychology throughout the years. And if you have any thoughts about self-discovery or anything new you've learned about yourself recently, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.